Hey guys and welcome to our brand new game, Zombie Night Terror. Dropped literally a couple of days ago by Noclip, a small gaming company in France. Uh, I've had a quick blast on it. I think it is great. I think I want to show you guys. The way it was sold to me and the way I'm going to sell it to you is Lemmings with Zombies. Not quite right, but that's that's a really good starting point to go from here. Uh, you can see I've played a couple of levels here just to make sure everything is all good. But we are going to start from the beginning because, uh, you know... That, that's how I'd like to show these things to you. Zombie Night Terror! Wow, that was a one crazy film. Makes me want to gnaw on everything. Gnaw? Yeah, to bite, chew. You know what I mean. Question mark? All I know is that you're completely stoned. What are you on? Romeo, this is the new stuff. It blows your mind, literally. I've got three left. You want to hit? <laughs> what are you waiting for? Pass it around. Don't do drugs, kids. They're bad for you. Uh, okay, so in here, we now have an objective and stuff like Deadly Addiction, Movie Night Terror. Contaminate three humans and kill four more. Okay, so the overkill challenge to kill every human. I, I think we can do that by doing this. And then if you look, there's actually loads of guys down this way. So I'd like to start some ruckus over here. Uh, and then there should be a guy that causes some trouble over here. So look, look at this one. Let's let's get him on the go. And then we should have some sort of like amazing pincer movement on the go. Yeah. So these guys are fighting over there, and these guys are fighting over here. So every time one of these zombies approaches a human, they take a gnaw out of them. And then after a little while, in true classic zombie fashion, more come out. Now I'm not sure whether this guy is gonna be able to get found or not. Um, but there we go. That that's the thing. Uh, these guys are running to maybe a safety zone over here. Should we go see what's going back on the other side quickly? Little's horde coming through. They appear to have everyone. That's all good. And they're going to break through the door. Oh, they're not going to break through the door. That is quite unfortunate. Should we see just quickly before we go anywhere, well, before we click the finish button, if they're going to find this guy? Because this, this is the one I want to know. This is the one I want to know. No, it, it looks not. Come on, do them. He's right there, guys. He's right there. No, I don't, I don't think he's going to do it. Right, so we didn't quite get all the humans. This is unfortunate, but that is the way of things. Finish. Okay, we got the basic objective, but as th there is always an overkill challenge. We unfortunately failed it. I'm not going to go and restart it because uh, we're doing a video here. Let's get moving. Okay. Damn, that one big-ass TV. What's it doing here? Turn it on. Turn it on. <laughs> you turn it on. That's your job, baby. <laughs> TV time. Oh, look, I get to click on stuff. That's good. Uh, infection spreading. We are coming to you live from downtown, where is believed contamination has started. Locals in the scene believe the bizarre changes in the populace are from the defective batch of home-cooked drugs. Our investigation is ongoing. Stay with us. April Fox, ZNT News. Wow, okay. There's some stuff going on. There is some stuff going on. Do we get to infect people? This... Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. This guy's got a gun. Okay, so we're going to infect the guy with the gun, right? That that, that kind of makes sense to me. I hope that's the way of going. I wish we could zoom in and out. Oh, fuck. Is that why I feel so ragged? Have I been munching on too much tainted Romeo? Oh, man. Oh, does she mean this guy? Is he is he tainted Romeo? No? No, is that not what's going on here? Okay, so we now got two zombies. Are we going to be able to do anything with them? Oh, they're breaking out the door. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, look, we got a zombie to human count. Click to show the no nearest one. Anyway, that. Okay, so we've got this this little uh, device here. Uh, you can click it to go up or across. Obviously, we want to go up. This gives us a, a little bit of control over the zombies here. Not not a great deal, but a little bit. I can't remember how to fast forward this without having to go up and click it here. Uh, and you can see down here. The, the little break symbol here will break the door, obviously. Yeah, it's nice and simple to get your head round. Logical, intuitive even. I, I like it. it. It's a good good thing. I really do love this game at the moment. Uh, I've only played it, as I say, a little bit before and, and just now. But just everything about it. The the soundscape, the, the artwork that's going on. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Junkie Plague! Spread the Junkie Plague by killing 22 humans. Kill every hu human without losing any zombies. That That's just straight not going to happen. Okay, so so we've got stuff going on down here. It's oh man! Well, that was brutally quick. Uh, who else is going to cause us some troubles? I I don't know. This guy looks like he's got a little nightstick thing. So let's let's do something about that. Um, I don't want to spend too much of my serum straight away. Oh look, straight in with the attack, eh? 
I think we're gonna have to uh, to have another pop at this at some point. Let's just see what's going on. Yeah, th this all looks. Oh well, how did he die already? How is that a thing? I didn't watch him actually take any um, any hits or anything like that. All right, this guy wants to go up here, right? Maybe, maybe that's what we wanted. I'm not sure. Um, can we send that in there? No, he is set and ready to go. I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. I mean, these guys being all prepared is not the ideal one. Uh, so that barrel gave me three more um, syringes. What I might do is go you and you, and then clear that and open that up. If we can. I'm worried about what this guy's going to do. Uh, but yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, what's going on up here? We want to try and chase these guys back down. We want to try and break that door, I think. Uh, beyond that, yeah, everything's looking all good. Uh, so we're going to have to wait some time to get everybody down. That's fine. These guys are just walking back and forth. In fact, these guys are already taking over everywhere. Ah, we want to stop that going that way. Look, look at these guys. Look, watch. Whoa, that's not what we want at all. Where are they coming from? You see these zombies coming out of here? I'm not, I'm not sure exactly where they're coming from. Uh, so, the main problem I've got here is these guys need to go down and across to, to get anywhere near here. Uh, it's going to take a little time to go. There is a small horde at the beginning, though, so that should disable this guy's um, yeah hitting abilities. There we go. He got got. He got got. Amazing. Uh, and now, thankfully, the door will kind of, like, keep everyone uh, bunched up. Oh, is he, is he just running? Is he just running? Is that a problem here? He's going to carry on just right. That's fine. That is fine. A little bit uh, concerned about how I'm supposed to get all the humans here. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do it. Like, how am I supposed to lure these guys out? What am I supposed to do with these ones up here? In fact, I've got one of these. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to do it. That is definitely the way to do it. Okay, what's going on here? We've got some zombies ma going to massacre some girls. This is all good. And then, why is he going that way? I wanted him to finish them off and then then have a pop at these guys. Well, the door's open. I'm not sure if we can do anything about that. Uh, he's going to run this way. I want to just watch this play out. At least end up with no zombies. The five humans. How do we get at them? Because these guys fall down there and they're just splurge. That, that's that's no good. Splurge zombies are not, not the one for me there. Uh, there must have been a way up somewhere. There must have been a way up, but I couldn't find it, but we finished the level, so that's the important thing here, right? That, I think it's the important thing. Okay, we have finished the perfect assassination. That, that, that's fine. I can live with that. We have a mad scientist. I assume a mad scientist. Got to keep working on this. I'm so close. Hey, Einstein. Your Romeo is fucking people up. Pretty bad. Why, why would you want to make people lose their minds? It's called clinical trials, you de degenerate gun monkey. Have you ever heard of the scientific process? Easy, slick. I'm just saying, it's getting rough out there. Here we are, my next ra random recipe. Uh, improved formula. It's nearly ready. Mwaha, aha, a mwaha, aha. Be best laughs ever, right? Okay, so what's going on up there? We want to go and smash that up. This appears just to be an exit, so that's okay. Why can I not... Ah, because we need to wait for this to be blown up before we get to do anything down there. I'm a little bit worried about this guy. Like, how are we going to get past him? Um, especially with just, like, one zombie like that. Hold them off while you... What a coward. What a coward. So it takes two shots to put these zombies down. Uh, I wonder how we're, like, supposed to do that in a perfect run. You know? Uh, I'm not sure if that's the thing that could be done. Look, we've got some mutant butt file down there somewhere. Right, what does this do? I've never seen this before. Uh, I'm going to click on that and then... No, can't click on him. No, okay. Well, can we click on uh, this guy at the back? Can we do that? Is that... Oh. What did that do? Uh, can, I, can I do anything with it? Okay, I may have done this at the wrong spot. That's unfortunate. There. Uh, that way. Uh, I'm not sure what this does. No, no, this is this is not helping. Uh, this is April Fox at the scene of the out uh, scene of the outbreak with breaking news. We are understanding. We are beginning to understand what affects the zombies' behaviour. Certain so-called overlords seem to have gained the ability to control other zombies. As the brain-dead generals of this relentless attack, they seem to be steering their ghastly minions towards the path of greatest destruction. Okay. Ah, so. 
I've done this wrong. I've done this very wrong, right? Okay, so let's put this guy here and we want to tell him to tell them to go this way. Uh, apart from I've done that. Should we restart? Should we restart? I think that's probably the safest option at this point. Now that we know what is going on, let's just get in there and do the things that need doing. So I'm just going to go straight to the braking there. Uh, can we speed up with the one, two, threes? We can't. That is unfortunate. So we're going to have to click on it up there. The one, two, threes, I believe, give me access to the different serums down here. Now, there should be a lot of uh, blasting around and scientists trying to escape. The Overlord serum needs to go up that way, doesn't it? Okay, I think I think we could do that. So when this guy gets on the end, we're going to point him back. Oh, this guy burnt to death there. That's no good. Uh, so you on the end here, face that way. All right, I get it. I get it. I understand what's going on here, I think. So the DNA points are for upgrading your zombies down the bottom here. Uh, I'm not. Uh, th this gives the general infection in the first place. It's a shame I can't get to him. I, I really want to really wanna have a pop at him. But they now tell them to turn around. Ah, oh, perfect. So in the Lemons ethos, he's the, you know, stand there with his arms out and, and block them type of thing. But actually just directs them in another manner. So maybe, once again, the analogy doesn't quite work between this and Lemmings. Okay, mad scientist running away being free! Yeah, you know I'm going to break that door. Uh, we've got some DNA at the bottom here. I want to I wanna break that as well. Uh, so we're going to have to use an overlord once we hit the bottom of the door. I don't have any DNA. How am I supposed to do that? Okay, cool. We just want one of these facing that way. All right, that's good. That's good. That's the way. What does this guy do? And what do I do with him once he's done? This is a question. What do we do with him once he's done? Okay, that. Select zombie DNA. Plus four. Sacrifice a zombie to get more DNA. Okay. So then when we do this, we get the DNA... Oh man, that's amazing. Look at the way he just like melts down. And then we just carry on walking uh, across the way. Okay, brilliant. I would like to speed it up, please. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm loving this story. I've got to say, I'm loving this story. Deadly addiction, objective, death lab. Create an epidemic and kill 25 humans. Challenge, drug addiction. Find the secret drug stash. I think we can probably find the secret drug, drug stash. If we have a look around here, the end is nigh. Man, this is a big, there's the secret drugs, I think. It's a big level. It's a big level. Uh, so should we start? I think what I'm going to do is start with these guys, make myself a horde and try and, uh, oh no. Try, try and um, march them down. Classic horde style. Look at this. All right, great. Uh, yeah, we're going to let them go up there. I mean, are they going to get stuck? We're going to want to make an overlord right here and turn him back, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's my plan here. Look at this guy here. All right, DNA that guy. All right, good. Uh, now we want to break that door. Yeah, okay. And when this is done, we will grab this DNA. Brilliant. And then probably open that door when we're done. Okay, we're down one zombie, but we're up four from that. So that, that that's all good. Uh, <laughs> Hoover. Who, who car? I, I'm not. Couldn't imagine what that's trying to say there. So we're going to go up there this way and then pop that door. Got to watch out for these mines. The, the mad professor was literally just going on about how that was a deadly thing. We're not going to break that door yet. What's the button about? The, the number. I have no idea. Try, trying to figure out things as we go along. Always the best process, right? Always the best process. So, we want to break that on our way through. And then maybe break that as well? I'm not, I'm not sure if that's actually a thing, but I'm fairly sure we want to swap that that way. Yeah. Relatively sure. I just want to carry on breaking these doors in now. Okay, so the three means... Ah, oh, that. Ah, oh, that I did that wrong. The major horde has now got broken up from the group. Um, so, yeah, we definitely need to, like, overwhelm people with weapons here. Um, let's just get them... Ooh, breaking the doors open like this. It, it really needs to be one after the other just to keep the group together. Uh, ooh, we can go down and try and get the, the secret stash. I, th I think we're going to go try and get the secret stash. So my idea is probably that the number there is the number of uh, zombies we can have walking on there at any one time where are these guys going to go now uh okay i think i think we're okay i think we're okay let's let's try that and let's do that that's not quite what i meant to do but okay oh wow there's a lot of mines down there i didn't see i didn't see 
Um, now, how are we going to get people up there? I did not plan ahead here. I did not plan ahead. These guys are just going to be going around in circles now. Okay. Uh, what we need is an overlord here going that way. All right, go people, go. Well, I say people, go zombies, go. And then when they get down there, we will sacrifice this dude for the DNA because he's just going to be in the way. We need to get these guys down, get the drugs, then go back up and try and get this lot. Um, it would be nice to be able to inject that guy with these guys here with a little bit of stuff, but, you know, that that's the way. Uh, oh, is this going to get the entire group of them? That is very unfortunate. But we managed to get some stuff here. Okay, that, that's all good. That's all good. I say it's all good. It's not. It's terrible. Uh, I'm going to spend two of those there and one of these here and see what we get. Supposedly, that's an infection right there. We need five of them together to break in there. Hmm. Ah, oh, look, we could have done it just with one there. That would have been more useful. Okay, that's fine. We can, we can live with this. Uh, do you want to break out there or break... No, break out that way. Yeah, yeah. If we could get him to break out the other way. Oh, did we get him to turn around? That is unfortunate. That is not quite what we wanted to do. This guy is going to take out all our zombies up here. We have passed the level. I just want to kind of push it further a little bit more. Okay, that was no good. What is going on down here? We're going to have uh, things exploding. Unfortunate. Most unfortunate. Uh, are we going to end up with any zombies left at all? Doesn't really matter at this point, though, does it? Because everyone is sorted. Okay, let's finish the level. Oh, wow. Death Lab complete. Amazing. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. Zombie Night Terror, available on Steam, something like uh, seven or eight pounds, possibly ten of your dollars. Uh, go and check it out, I really highly recommend it. If you happen to like this and would like to see a full series, I'm I'm open to negotiations on that. Let me let me know. This is quite a good good little uh, good little game, so I'd, I'd like to do it. But anyway, yes, as I say, thank you very much for joining for this adventure, and I will see you later. Bye.